like it says, Avita, all Avita PCs are blockchain applications ready. Be secure, be productive anywhere, anytime. Introducing the world's first Avita blockchain PC running on Windows OS. Uh, the three features of Avita blockchain PC, secure data locker, um, PC operation status viewer, PC ma uh, functions management tool, um, convenient usability, What's that, you know, why Avita blockchain PC, hassle-free management, affordable solution, optimized PC performance, get the latest updates on Avita blockchain PC, sign up now, right? So, I mean, it's there, but the key thing is, you know, it's got some of Jasmine's technologies into it, right? Um, let's jump back for a moment. Let's take you to the next one. I'm going to blow this one up as well. So, you know, here's people, I guess you could say, shopping and front row center. You know, they're taking a look at it, just like anything, you know? But the key thing is this is starting to get going, and I like that. I think we all like that, especially as Jasmine holders. There's a shot right there. We'll just leave that up for a brief moment. Let's just keep it like maybe, how about right there? Okay. All right, I'm gonna come back into the frame. Thought I'd show that to you guys. Let's pull it back to, I think a tad bit more of what we have. Um, yeah, let's jump into the next part of what we have. All right, so I want to show you guys just a tad bit more in regards to Jasmine. Um, this is a report from Baby Angel. It says specifically, after being dormant, and by the way, please smash that like if you just connected. It does help the broadcast get to a larger base because of the YouTube algorithm. It says after uh, going dormant for about 13 months, this whale, if you're not aware of it, is buying more Jasmine since uh, three weeks ago. And just 40 minutes ago, he bought 76 million Jasmine. Well, this was something I was going to report to you yesterday. So it's not 40 minutes ago, but it was yesterday. But come on, guys, 76 million Jasmine. And now holding 533 million Jasmine, uh, now at number 18th top holder. Um, and here's some of the screenshots from Etherscan. We're going to blow this up with just a tad bit more for you. Pull this up. Um, yeah, let's, uh, blow it up just a tad bit more. Hopefully, hopefully it's not too big. Let's shrink that down just a tad. I would do like that. Yeah. Look at this. That's a lot. That's an insane amount. 533 million Jasmine worth $2.4 million. Why would all of a sudden this guy out of nowhere load up on Jasmine? I'll tell you why. For the same reason that a lot of guys load up on things at the bottom, whether it's Shiba Inu when they see bottom, or it's XDC when they see bottom, whether it's you name it, when they see bottom, right? If we see bottom, you better believe whales also see bottom. So if this is supposed to be an asset that's not worth much, and it's just a big scam, why are whales, or specifically this whale, loading up like this is it because he wants to just throw or she it could be she or whoever it is they want to just throw their money away no they don't want to throw their money away nobody wants who's already made it wants to throw their money away right that's worth taking a look into is, is the saying goes when in doubt follow the money that's why we highlight some of these things you have to highlight some of these things to give you a broader perspective even if you're the type of person where you're like, you know what? The flutters are right. Okay. If they're right, then I guess this whale is wrong. Get what I'm saying? I think we all do. All right. Let's jump back to a little bit more of what we have. Um, I'm going to show you another screenshot. I'll share this tab instead. A little bit more in regards to this whole topic. So if you're wondering where that came from, here's the source. You can check it on the Etherscan for yourself, right? Etherscan.io. Um, you know, look at all these transactions from, you know, Coinbase, for instance. I mean, you know, it's all verifiable stuff. Seriously. All right. All right. Let's jump into this next part for Mr. Kunitaki Ando. So, of course, we talk about Mr. Ando. Why not? You know, um, and of course, I did a deep dive and I do appreciate the support that I got in regards to that, you know, 
uh, us here at CTN. Um, let's go ahead and zoom out just a tad bit more. Don't want to make it too big. All right, so it says, and this shout out to this guy, 279. He states, if you can't handle the FUD, you know, you can't handle the FUD. You know, Jack Nicholson in the way. Anyway, if you can't handle the FUD and believe I'm wrong about Jasmine being the best company to invest in right now, here's a picture of Jasmine CEO, Kunitaki Ando. He doesn't really fit the description of a scammer or a rug puller, does he? Right. Why would somebody who is a scammer slash rug puller be invited, you know, back in 2005 to share the same stage with the late, great Steve Jobs of Apple? That just doesn't make sense. Well, Max, you got to understand, he became a scammer later, later, uh, later on. He got mixed up with the wrong group of people. What a crock, right? So, you know, um, it says, how long do you think he has left to even be participating in something like that anyway? True. I mean, the man's like, what, 79, 80 years old, roughly in that range. Um, it says, this isn't about money. It's about his legacy. I even said that on the deep dive, did I not? I said, for instance, you know, this guy wants to leave a legacy be behind. And you already saw, like, the writing on the wall many, many years ago that basically, you know, maybe there was something there where Sony was going to work with Apple to come together and, um, with a particular PC, but it didn't happen. Why? Because Steve Jobs passed away. You never know that, right? And some people say, though, well, that's a reach. Well, so what? So what if it is a reach? But the point is that he has a vision for the next big jump of where we're going with Web3 and so on. The idea of these blockchain PCs, that's an original idea. And as we know, we don't really see, unless I'm not aware of it. I don't think any of you guys are aware of it either. It's original. I don't see where there's competition for this you know there's a reason why um people have labeled this as you know an original idea i like to be invested into original ideas right and it comes out of japan and if japan is leading the forefront that's exciting so it says it always works also he is my grandfather um from a different great grandmother <laughs> so the brother from another mother all right so there he is um you know and then like this guy says i think west gets japanese culture and the way they do things misunderstood yes remember how we point out the whole concept of all these people complaining about the marketing i had to show you guys in the deep dive steve jobs talking about like you know japanese aren't great for marketing but you know their product speaks for itself like everybody loves their products right that's something to be mentioned so yes I think the West does get it misunderstood. And like this guy mentions, he says, just because Jasmine doesn't market in the way they are used to, for example, the Western way, people start calling a scam or rug pull. They are doing that. They're doing it all the time. They're taking what's on the surface. But the difference is this. There's a difference between investors who will do their own research, hence the topic of you know, the, the title of the show all the time is DYOR with Max, right? Because we do do this research. Why do we do this research? Why wouldn't we do this research? You know, you're putting your hard and earned money into these projects. You need to know the background, the nitty gritty of all of it. I, I want to know about this guy, Kunitaki Ando, and, you know, how he's been working with Sony since 1960, was it 69? Yeah. And how about this? Jasmine with Trans Cosmos, that, you know, uh, contract slash call center, they have been around since 1966. These are experienced veterans that know what they are doing. And this guy says, agreed. Most people don't even know that the Jap how, or how the Japanese operates. I don't think most people do know. Just because we saw a movie with Michael Keaton called Gung Ho. And by the way, watch that movie. It's very educational. Um, I did an economics class years ago. And that was part of, like, you know, it was approved for the curriculum to show our students that film. There's a reason why it's approved. If you haven't seen it watch it but just because there's movies like that doesn't mean that that's going to tell you how everything is set up in japan no it's not so you know like it says banks in japan own 70 percent of all companies in japan where you wear that the other 30 percent are foreign owned and all of the japanese companies belong to the japanese government or have a link to them this prevents hostile takeover and to protect intellectual property I hate to say, 
here in the United States, you know, I love America. Don't get me wrong, right? But let's face it. Our elected officials, they really need to pull their heads out of their butt big time. You know, here, we're still screwed when it comes to FTX. Over in Japan, they made their investors whole. That's what I'm talking about. Here's an example of what we're talking about. It says, what, what's interesting is that Japanese culture always focuses on making Japan first in order to lead innovations. Here in the United States, we're always talking about, like, we want the candidate that's going to put, you know, um, America first. They already get that on both sides of the table, right? Um, how about this for size, right? It says, for instance, there's these differences, you know, um, or research uh, in regards to Japanese con companies and how they conduct business. As a result, their ignorance will cause them a diamond hand. Moreover, Japanese companies hardly advertise their product because, sometimes some of you guys were wanting some of the because, we didn't get the because, it is always the highest quality so that it never, you know, um, reaches a point where, like, it's going to fail to a sense. I mean, there's some products could fail. Don't get me wrong. Some products can break because it's made out of cheap plastic. It says, you know, for instance, on the contrary, this guy, he, for instance, he believed um, this time Jasmine and, for instance, Hara and the management team behind Jasmine have to adapt to the West ways of thinking if they want to penetrate this crypto market. And that is a good point. You know, and I think you see that they're recognizing some of it. How do we know that? Well, with little things, Hara, for instance, becoming verified, getting that, you know, blue check mark. Technically, it's a white check mark, but you get what my point is. But of course, Jasmine community is always ready to help them get the word out. And we are. I mean, you've seen it. I, you know, I'll put tweets out. But how about this? Shout again to a wonderful community member here today, right? His new name on Twitter is Candlestick Maker, aka Menelect. Menelect is killing it. He's getting the word out. He, the way he words stuff, you know, great intellect from Menelect. But my point is, that's what we're about. We're an army of Jasmine holders that are coming together, trying to do what? Have this thing trend. And it has been trending. And just because we don't see like insane pumps at the moment, keep in mind, like I mentioned before, at these price levels, right? That's the some of the consolidation that we may very well need. And like it says right here, that's why I kept saying they have a free workforce army like us behind them. I couldn't agree more. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you have not yet subscribed, do yourself a favor and subscribe for more information on the ISO 222 compliant tokens and hit the notification bell to make sure that you are aware of the new videos when they come up. Max and I cover these ISOs and we also have a live show every single night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Make sure you tune in for that. You won't want to miss it. Thanks again and we will see you on the next video.